guys, I'm Dirty Hacker Oops, the lead developer on Ace Waste Cherno, the uh, Cherno Wasteland mod for Arma 3. Basically what the mod is, if you don't know just yet, um, it's a Arma 3 Wasteland mod with the Cherno map on it and a bunch of custom mods. Um, we will be doing a basic dev, uh, dev blog or dev vlog, whatever you want to call it today, of the features the basic features that we have added that we're looking to add and we're just dem gonna demonstrate a couple of them to you I have Demi online with me today he's one of the um, main clan members and one of the main dev team um, members as well um, the original idea came from Mr. Undestroyable one of our clan leaders um, along with me and basically the idea was to create a custom um, map custom mod for Arma 3 because the engine is a lot better than the Arma 2 one and a lot prettier obviously um, and we decided to go with the good old Cherno map because uh, everybody in Arma 2 loved it so we decided to develop upon it and now I'll just show you guys how far we've come so basically um, back then you just saw the basic spawning menu and everything um, the map runs at a fairly good FPS as it is not it, it's not an Arma 3 native map that uses a lot of power so if you have a, a Arma 3 with not such a good spec PC you'll be able to run this map just fine and as you can see I'm, I'm running low view distance and everything and uh, but uh, if you if you prefer you can even run it even lower um, yeah so I'll just show you the map first um, basically what we've done here is we've added a um, gun store at the bottom left in Kamarova. We thought that was a pretty good spot as it's also right next to the vehicles, uh, vehicle store, uh, the two vehicle stores in Belota. We also added a couple gun stores, uh, more gun stores around the map. We also added a vehicle store for planes and such at Northwest Airfield. Um, Currently, there's not a vehicle store at Northeast Airfield yet. We're looking to add one of those, most probably in the future. Um, there's just a general store there for now. Uh, there's also another general store down here in Electro. Um, and basically, all over the map, you can see these yellow markers with capture zones. And the blue circles are all spawn zones. So friendlies, non-friendlies, everybody's going to spawn here. Um, now, if you see here, um, around all the gun stores, there's this yellow area. Now, if I teleport over there for you guys, and as you saw up on the right corner there, we do have objectives set up already. They're a bit buggy at the moment, but uh, we're going to be focusing on the main things for now, just until we get things set up. And if I teleport over here to the gun store for you guys, as you see, it just said allies. Um, this basically means that anybody in the gun store is on your team um, and it, it's it's pretty much safe to go there now in the future we might add some safe zones uh, to the vehicle stores and we're not too sure about the gun stores because that um, um, we don't know how that's gonna affect gameplay just yet we'll just probably add it see how it see how it works out and stuff and basically the spawns are on Solnichi Island. This whole bottom part of or this square is um, not not a, you're not allowed to fire or shoot or enter this zone. As you can see, it in, um, you'll get banned if you do so. Anyway, um, I guess since we're already at the gun store, I'll show you guys that first. Um, now we have a uh, we have a very basic UI at the moment. Basically, you can just uh, you can scroll on these dudes here um, open gun store and you can select all the different guns you want so we've as you can see already from now um, we've added a couple custom guns now there's still some bugged ones that we need to reconfigure such as the Glock 21 um, we just need to add the ammo and stuff but um, as you can see the uh, Glock 17 was added the M9 was added as well um, now I know what you're thinking. The Glock 17 is usually already in the game. This is an, this is a different Glock 17. This is the Arma 2 one. Um, we also added the Makrov, the Micro Uzi, 
MP443 and yeah that's pretty much it for the pistols now SMG we also added the MP MP5A5 Woodland um, just because we thought it was a it was a it's it may not be such a good weapon but uh, it's an iconic one and it has a pretty badass camo if you think of it now rifles um, we did add a couple we added an MP MP5A5 underwater um, now we might reconfigure this down to the SMGs again and just do it that way but uh, for now we'll have it in here now we also added the FN FAL um, and all the scopes are compatible the suppressors are not but all the scopes and um, and such are compatible with all these weapons so don't worry about that the G3 has also been added the HK416 different camos and standard one M4A1 Woodland and M4A1 has been added and that's pretty much it for the rifles now I believe um, yeah the launchers nothing has been added uh, neither has there been for this uh, accessories and uh, nothing here alright so that's pretty much it for now at the gun stores um, well we will be adding more as we add more mods um, now we do have an auto sell feature so if you were to put the put your uh, weapon in here with your ammo obviously and you were to walk out of this area now it would auto sell your items as you saw on the top right um, it auto sells your items um, just for how much they're worth it there's no difference if you sell them like that or if you sell them manually and as you can see all the loot spawning works as well um, inside buildings and everything so that's that's fine as well um, now we added a couple custom mods um, I'll just name a couple of them right now uh, we added the speed of sound mod which was originally made for Arma 3 um, obviously we added the custom name tags um, mod as well we added some custom vehicles custom camos for vehicles capturable locations as I showed you earlier like this but um, all these here it won't say allies um, they'll just turn blue once you capture them so I guess I'll teleport over to the vehicle store quickly and uh, and I'll show you that um, basically if uh, yeah I'll show you the vehicle menu while we're capturing this um, got a bit of lag there now if I just get myself some money all right okay now if we if we were to access the um, the vehicle store menu you can see we added the cart now usually to drive a cart you need the um, if I can find it there it is um, vehicles always just spawn around the trader that's why they're you will usually find them in the middle of the field uh, to avoid vehicles spawning in, in buildings and stuff like that however um, usually if you were to get in it it would tell you to buy the DLC we have a custom script that allows you to get into it despite the fact that um, it's in a custom DLC um, so we have that um, obviously if you check here there's um, there we haven't added any custom road vehicles yet apart from the, um, the tanks there's been the M1A1 Abrams and the M1A2 Tusk that was added um, um, and here on the right you can see the different camos that you can get and there's there's just literally a bunch of different colors you can get boats as well um, this this trader is actually bugged we have to fix this as well that you can buy uh, boats here but um, we'll, we'll fix that you can get planes and boats and all of that basically um, what we have added for the vehicles is uh, we've added a couple helicopters here you can see the Chinook and the Venom um, obviously all these vehicles are are normally in the game otherwise um, but uh, if uh, if I show you one of these quickly um, so I'll just buy a H9 Pony I'll buy it in the pink camo and if we wait yeah so basically it's this custom camo set um, it has like different colors of pink and it has a bit of black mixed in with it. it 
all these are like that. Um, if I buy another one with a uh, uh, with another camo, I can show you. Look at the uh, look at the green one. Here, the green one is just solid green. Um, some of them are solid, some of them are mixed. I believe the orange ones and the pink ones are mixed. I'm not too sure. Um, and also, if a vehicle tends to blow up, now I'll, I'll show you that right now. Um, if I can, now, people who do get admin. Uh, or who do become admin will have access to all these advanced admin menus where they can spawn themselves weapons, um, ammo, and all of that stuff. Um, we'll just do it with one of these just to demonstrate quickly. And as you just saw at the bottom, it says your team is successfully captured below the airfield and you receive $200. And now the area turns green. And as you can see, um, Demi obviously entered the gun store down at Komarovo and it says enemies there now and he basically now I know that if I go there I'll most probably be killed but um I'll just I'll just shoot this heli quickly so I can show you guys the salvaging there we go alright okay Hope this works. Um, now, what we've added is a salvaging option as well. So if you if you walk up close to the vehicle, oh crap! Wow. <laughs> um, and this this I guess is a perfect time to demonstrate the um, revive menu. Basically, your teammates have 60 seconds to come up and revive you. Now, to revive someone, you need to have a med kit on you, which you can buy at the general store and all of that stuff. Um, but if I teleport back there in a second, um, I'll show you the salvaging option. Basically, you could just scroll on the vehicle and it takes about 20 to 30 seconds to salvage part of it. And then you can go and sell it for some money at the at the vehicle store. So I guess I'll show you, I'll show you uh, a couple of the uh, custom sound mods that we added or, or the custom sound mod that we added. Um, it's called Speed of Sound. Now you need community um, community based add ons for that. Uh, CBA um, we've we've already installed it in the mod pack and everything so all you basically have to do is uh, go to the t tutorial on how to install it and everything and um, it, it'll be it'll be pretty okay so if if the planes list would load that, that'd be uh, all right there we go all right as you can see you cannot buy boats here because obviously there's no water close um, that's what I meant about the um, vehicle trader in Belota that it's kinda of bugged and we need to fix that anyway so here you can see a custom modded super hornet if I buy one alright let me get some money um, if I buy one here as you can see you can you can buy all all of the vehicles apart from boats um, oh I should have clicked on pink but uh, it's fully operational two seats and everything and it all works uh, also um, we added an aircraft carrier as well which is down here in Cherno like you can't see it now but it's 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 over here it's like right here and uh, yeah we'll, sh we'll demonstrate that to you later um, we also added the MV22 now certain vehicles don't work with camos either because they're too big or because the mod is just simply not compatible with it and we can't really do anything about that but uh, yeah but um, if the MV22 is fully operational like in Arma 2 um, if I could find a spot to get in it there we go as you can see even has some extra options such as open the ramp in the back close the ramp open the doors and stuff like that but uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for the planes that we've added so far we're currently looking at adding more but um, uh, we're just prioritizing certain things now 
All right, so Demi, if you'd like to, if we'd like to demonstrate some uh, sound mods, um, the weapons that are most affected by the sound mods are actually um, the 6.5 rifles. Now, if if I spawn myself in one of those quickly, um, also what I can't show you now, but we do have, is a fully operational day and night system. So day and night will change. Um, it's not according to like any time zone, certain time zone. It's just randomly generated for the certain amount of time that the server's up. It'll turn night and stuff. But yeah, if I if I get myself uh, a Katiba quickly and I fire, if you listen very closely, you can hear that it's a different sound. Now it may sound very silent, but that's because my uh, my audio effects are very low. So I'll just turn them up quickly. Now from the front, it's basically just more realistic gunshots. Now, what do you have there, Demi? What is that? A M249 Para. It sounds right. really nice and stuff. So. so if I if I stand behind you and you go ahead and fire into the air, as you can hear, it has a suppressor on it. And if I stand in front of it, it creates very loud noises. These noises are very realistic as they do have echo and everything added to it as well. Without the suppressor, obviously, it sounds even more beefy. But yeah. Alright, you can you can stop that now. <laughs> um, now, also, we have custom weapons like the AKM and stuff like that. And these weapons already have custom sounds, so they all sound great already. But even these are affected by the uh, by the custom sound mod. If you go here, but yeah, that's just um, that's the basic sounds, and obviously helicopters and jets and everything is affected by that as well. We also have um, we also have certain visual mods installed that uh, just overall give it a better look when you when you try to take off and stuff like that. So, Demi, if you'd like to get in as my passenger, please. Yeah. So yeah, right now the mod is not enabled as we're still configuring it. Oh no, it is enabled. Yeah, if you can see in the back, you can see the heat waves and everything. You just basically see all of that. All right, so that was the first dev vlog. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to see, any questions, please do contact us on our TeamSpeak or just comment on the ModDB page. Or you can create an account on our website, asquad.org, and go ahead and um, send me a private message or something. Um, now, the instructions on how to install, the download link, and everything is posted under the um, uh, under or above the changelog if you check that out in the summary on the main page and you guys can go ahead and join the server it's open for to the public um, it's no longer in closed beta and yeah hope to see you guys around and uh, I'll see you then